So it is raining. It has rained all night. I took the bike out last night. Woo! Tell you what, I haven't been on that sucker in three weeks. Three, two, three. This many. One, two, three weeks. And uh, it felt freaking good to get out on the bike. And it was like 70 degrees. I dressed nice and warm. I had long johns on and my jeans and then a t-shirt, thermal shirt, and my leather jacket. And man, I was gone. Gone with the wind. It was awesome. It felt really good to freaking get out there and be on a bike. It did, however, start raining when I stopped at my favorite uh, Mexican joint to get a local place to get food. And uh, so I had it back. I wouldn't even have known it was raining if I didn't have it on my shield. Um, and then the road started getting wet. But I will tell you what, a little pro tip, the faster you go, it acts like rain guard and it beads up and runs right off your helmet. So at about 92 miles an hour, there's like no rain. And the tires I got on my bike are Michelin Water Pros and uh, they shed water like there's no tomorrow. So even at 90 something miles an hour, I'm soaking wet roads. Sheds that water off, they stick to the road like glue. Ran over and got my sausage, egg and cheese on a bagel. They are out of my chocolate milk again, but they have this new brand called United Dairy non-fat chocolate milk so we're gonna give this a try um the lady that's the manager there is a good friend of mine and she said that the company she was using the reason they kept running out is because they were making her order four cases at a time the problem is they weren't selling it so it was going bad and they kept having to throw it away which was a big problem so she found this other place she can order whatever she wants she's not happy about it because that place is an hour and a half away and she likes to order from local dairies which i get it i understand but you gotta do what you gotta do you're wasting product it really doesn't matter wow that is freaking good non-fat chocolate milk chocolate flavored skim milk made with fresh ingredients not designed in a lab no artificial growth hormones milk tested for antibiotics 120 calories 16 grams protein that's freaking good. United Dairy. Where are they at? What does it say? Martins Ferry, Ohio. That's more than an hour and a half away. That's like two and a half hours away, three hours away. Anyway, freaking good. But so I told Billy don't worry about this morning. I kind of delayed him and said, you know, come in in a while. We're going to, the rain's supposed to pass. Hopefully we can get out there and do something. But it's that time of year where we're running just the BR700 in the Echo 8010, which means I have to now adjust this for the 8010. It has bolts on the back here, and you can raise this back up or down, which it needs to go up for the 8010 to fit in here. So I gotta do that this morning. And uh, and then if the rain don't stop, I'm just gonna pull the trailer forward, and we're finally gonna clean up this shop. So we'll see what happens. Okay, Billy's almost here. I'm gonna hide right in that little entryway right there. I'm gonna hit him with a bead blaster when he comes through. This can be funny. Okay, ready? Wait to see him pull up. This is gonna scare the shit out of him. Might even give him a heart attack, but he'll be all right, he'll live. I know CPR. We ain't messed around with this thing in a long time. This is gonna be fantastic. Let me see where he's at. He's right over here at the intersection. So unless he stops at the store to grab a monster, which he probably will. Nope, drove right past it. It's coming down the road. <laughs> this is good parenting 101. Yeah, there you go. Coming in hot, like always. Just pulled up. All right, I'm going to hide.
I just crushed my fucking cane. <laughs> I just crushed my fucking cane. <laughs> Lord, Billy, really? how's the heart ticking? It's fucking beating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I was like, it's been a long time since we messed with this thing. I'm getting Billy good this morning. <laughs> I can't fucking hear. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. I scared the fucking camera, damn it. <laughs> you should, usually you catch me because you'll see the camera sitting off to the side somewhere. That's the new chocolate milk, dude. It's crushed in there, it's crushed in over there. Because <laughs> you squeezed it, did you <laughs> shat yourself too? No, I almost did. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. And I was wide awake too. Wasn't that awesome? Yeah. I heard I heard something in the bathroom. I was like, I was walk, as I was walking by, I'm like, oh, that's probably going to pee. Blah, blah, blah. I, as I start going past the door, <laughs> I freaking tried to tip it at the right height so it gets you, but not toward the face where it freaking blasts in your ear. Oh, no, it hit me right inside the ear. And it freaking blew your head off. I thought you'd see the reflection of my chrome bumper because I was sitting in that entryway and I was like, and I, I could see myself. I wasn't really paying Try that chocolate milk. This stuff is good. There, you try this. This monster? It's pretty good. It's not the best of the best, but pretty tasty. I've never tried what it. What is so. it? Ultra Strawberry Dreams? It's all right. The chocolate milk is good. Damn. Right? Well, still kind of crappy out. We probably aren't going to be able to do much, but remember Billy, how I said on the way here, at least there's no wind. Yeah. Look at these trees. There's definitely wind here. But this is one of our bad ones, so we definitely didn't want to miss this one today. Um, so we're just gonna fight through it, but there's it's covered in leaves. I don't know how much you can tell, but covered all across there. Probably can't see out the back. The whole front is covered in the back, probably as well. So this is what I'm stinking, Billy. You start up over here, clear the driveway, blow the driveway off over into the yard here, blow underneath the truck, trailer, everything, blow it in the yard, work all this front over that way. And I will fire up that 80 ton and go around the house. Okay. Sound like a plan, Stan? Yes, sir. All right. I just listed my 140 dirt bike, my mini chopper, and the standard 32 all on Marketplace. And within three minutes, I got an offer on the 140 dirt bike. So uh, we'll see what happens. Oh. Uh. Maybe this will give you a better view of what we're working with here. Ain't too bad in this little section right here. It's worse than it looks on camera for sure. But there's a lot all over. All up around the house is plastered with leaves. And then it goes around the back. But here, this is one of the ones we can blow them to wherever. So, time to get at her.
Well, that really sucks because the shoe won't turn. No matter which controls you use, it won't turn. Somebody jinxed me the other day because they put a comment in the video like, oh, I keep having problems with the motor on mine. They're burning out. We have almost 200 hours in that thing. We've never had an issue. So wherever you are, thanks for that. You jinxed me. But we did manage to clear this entire property. Uh, I guess if I call a dealer and see if they have one of the motors. It's pretty much the same as the power chutes, only on the power chute, the plug plugs into the motor. This one, the wiring comes out of the motor, goes down to a pigtail. So, I mean, I could splice, caught wire, all this stuff, and make a power chute motor work, but I'm not doing that, so. Guess you gotta call a dealer, see if they have one. So this one here was covered in leaves and Billy, I backed up the first part of it and then Billy blew them all across. There was a ton on the other side of the driveway. So Billy blew them all for the windstorm, got them over to here. There was a lot in that flower bed. So Billy just continued to blow them all the way across over to here. Made a big old pile over there. And I just followed behind them with the accelerator on, cleaned it up. Loving them accelerators, Billy. Yeah. It's sad to say it, but I, I, I feel like it's way better than using the walker. I do and too. I love the walker. That thing is amazing. Leaves an amazing cut. Bag's great. But I just like these so much better because we get to a lawn, we got to do a fun, like years in the past, we get to a lawn where we got to do a final cut on, and we're like, oh, well, we only have the walker and one mower that we can well, put a grass catcher on. And the other the same there. Yeah. So now. Now it's so much easier. We pull up to a lawn that needs a final, we're going through doing our leaf cleanups, but we pull up to a lawn that needs a final cut. We can jump off and cut them both with the right, or with both the rights, and then uh, go the next one, go right back to doing leaf cleanups. So we don't, in years past, we do leaf cleanups, then we pick one day, we go out and just hop around, do final cuts on the ones that need it. Now we can just do it as we go along. And you can bag way faster with these, and these things will bag wet leaves like there's no tomorrow. Because yeah, it's direct flow like the one we did the last one there's no way we'd have bagged that stuff with the walker not even with the maybe with the versamo kit on there but still that sludge clogs up the propeller oh yeah well that happened at uh, my house yeah but in the backyard it got clogged up in the thing so every time i turn on the blades it squeal and i'm like what is that i checked i looked at all the belts and i flipped up the deck made sure everything and i looked down right where the, behind the seat is and I'm looking at it I'm like there's nothing in there so and I go to like you know how you can grab the propeller and you can pull it with your hand yeah well, I went to go do that and nothing was turning so I pulled out my knife and I'm like going in like just scraping all the inside and then I literally just pulled it with two fingers pulled it down turn on the blades everything came shooting out and it was fine after that so yeah that's what happens especially if you suck up black, a lot of black walnuts Yes. They turn the sludge in there. There's a lot of those, like, they're like little apple things. Oh, yeah. They do it, too. Anything that's got moisture and slimy. Mm -hmm. Moisture and slimy. You got that sign over your bedroom, Billy? Yep. Moist and slimy. This is a family channel, Billy. Watch your mouth. Rolling out. So I'm gonna back the whole front over there and over here. Billy's gonna go in the back. There's a ton of leaves back here. He's gonna mulch them up and then we're both just gonna bag it. A lot of times we windstorm it and there'll be like no wind. 
and we'll get the whole backyard done all the way up to the back side of the house right here and then all of a sudden the wind will kick up and go that way it blows everything back at you it's a nightmare so we're going to try doing it this way and see what happens he's going to go mulch it up clown he's going to go mulch it up and then he's going to start bagging it by the time he starts bagging it i should be done up here and i'm going to go help him bag that <laughs> 